This is the CS Moments. The topic for today is testis schema, Seismic Factor 10, pre-orchiectomy LDH, and Seismic Factor 16, post-orchiectomy LDH. And I'm Donna Gress, the AJCC Technical Specialist and a member of the Collaborative Stage Education and Training Team. Now for testes, the serum tumor markers are used to assign the TNM stage group. This includes the alpha feta protein AFP, the human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, and the lactate dehydrogenase, LDH. Now the AFP and the HCG are standard values across different labs, so you use the actual value to determine whether it's S0, S1, S2, or S3. Now for the serum tumor markers, we vary from S0, which is the normal values, S1, which is LDH less than one and a half times the upper limit of normal, and the HCG less than 5,000, and the AFP less than 1,000. For S2, the LDH must be between one and a half to 10 times the upper limit of normal, or the HCG between five and 50,000, or the AFP between one and 10,000. For S3, the LDH must be above 10 times the upper limit of normal, or HCG greater than 50,000, or AFP greater than 10,000. Now the LDH, the normal ranges vary across different labs, so that's why it must be calculated. Now N stands for the upper limit of normal for the LDH assay. Now the normal range will be on the lab report. You use the highest number in the range for N, and then you compare the LDH value to multiples of N. For example, S1 is LDH below one and a half times the upper limit of normal. S2 is LDH between one and a half to 10 times the upper limit of normal. And another way to look at this is it must be between one and a half times the upper limit of normal up to 10 times the upper limit of normal. And S3, LDH must be above 10 times the upper limit of normal. Now let's go through a couple of examples. So this is the lab report for example number one. We have LDH 258 high IU slash L and 100 to 250. Now the line items on this report stand for LDH is the item being tested, 258 is the value, high means that it's elevated above the normal range for this patient, the IU slash L is the units of measure, and this is the international units per liter. And then 100 to 250 is the normal range at this lab. So 250 is the upper limit of normal, RN. Now we're going to look at one method to calculate this based on that value of 258 and the N being 250. First you determine one and a half times N and 10 times N. Then look to see does your LDH value fall below, between, or above these two numbers. So 1.5 times N would be 1.5 times 250 or 375. 10 times N is 10 times 250 or 2,500. Our value, 258, is below the one and a half times N, which is 375. So our value of 258 is S1. Now another method to calculate this, based on our value of 258 and N is 250, I will walk you through that now. You can take the value divided by N. So is our answer now below 1.5, between 1.5 to 10, or is it above 10? So we have 258 divided by 250, 
for an answer of 1.03. 1.03 is below or less than 1.5, so our value 258 is S1. Now we're going to look at a second example. This lab report for example number 2 is LDH 1265 high international units per liter and 105 to 333. The line items on this report, the LDH is the item being tested, 1265 is the value, it's high or elevated above the normal range for this patient. The IU slash L is the units of measure, international units per liter, and 105 to 333 is the normal range at this lab. 333 is the upper limit of normal, the N. Now one method to calculate this based on a value of 1265 and N of 333. You determine 1.5 times N and 10 times N. Then look to see does your LDH value fall below, between, or above these two numbers. 1.5 times N would be 1.5 times 333 for an answer of 499.5. 10 times N would be 10 times 333 for an answer of 3,330. So our value of 1,265 is between 1 and a half to 10 times N, or it's between 499.5 and 3,330. So our value of 1,265 is S2. Now the other way to calculate these same numbers with the value of 1,265 and n equal 333. So what we're going to do for this one, we're going to take the value divided by n and then determine is the answer below 1.5, between 1.5 to 10, or above 10. So 1,265 divided by 333 equals 3.798 and you can round that off for an answer of 3.8. 3.8 is between 1.5 and 10. So the value 1265 is S2. Now Seismic Factor 10 and Seismic Factor 16, the table to code them is listed here. As you can see, we have our codes on the left and then our descriptions and within our descriptions we have whether they're S0, S1, S2, or S3. So this tells you how to code when you got the answer of like S1 on the first example or S2 on the second example. Now the references for this can be found in the AJCC 7th edition chapter 42 on testes. There has been an errata posted for this chapter at our website. Be sure and check that out and update your book if needed. You can also find the references in collaborative stage version 0204 coding instructions. It's in part 1 section 2 pages 13 to 14 which describe the LDH also part 1 section 2 pages 117 to 119 where it discusses the serum tumor markers for testes and part 1 section 2 pages 123 to 124. This is Sitesweek factor 10 and 16 on the LDH range. Be sure and check out the cancer forum. You can submit questions to the CS part of the forum on collaborative stage issues such as this Sitesweek factor. This is located within the cancer forum and it provides information for everyone. It also allows us to track items for educational purposes. That's how we chose this topic based on the number of questions that have been asked. The website is listed below cancerbulletin.facs.org forums. 
Be sure and check out the AJCC channel on YouTube. These are short 5-15 to 15 minute videos such as this one on both AJCC and collaborative stage topics. We try to cover very important concepts here so check back. You can even subscribe so you can see when we post new videos. The website is youtube.com forward slash AJCC cancer. This has been brought to you by the Collaborative Stage Education and Training Team, and I'm Donna Gress. Thank you.